In this video, we will show you how to integrate PagerDuty with Slack. Before we start, you'll need to make sure you're an admin or higher in PagerDuty. In Slack, you'll need owner or admin permissions in the workspace you'd like to connect to PagerDuty. From the configuration menu, click Extensions. Select the Slack extension by clicking on the integration tile. Click Install the app into your workspace. This will ensure PagerDuty has the right permissions in the workspace and will allow Slack users to use slash commands in any channel. You can connect multiple Slack workspaces to your PagerDuty account. More granular information about these permissions can be found on our Slack integration guide. Click Allow. Now we can connect a PagerDuty service to a specific Slack channel. Under the Configuration menu, click Extensions. Click New Extension to create a new extension. Select Slack V2 as the extension type. Enter a name. Next, we'll select the service we want to integrate. When a service is integrated with a Slack channel, you'll see PagerDuty notifications in the channel that you can immediately action. In the Details section, you can choose which options will post a new update in Slack. If you keep these options disabled, the initial PagerDuty notification will continue to update in line. Click Authorize. Choose the channel you'd like PagerDuty to post into. Review the permissions and select Authorize. That's it! Now you have configured the integration. To test the PagerDuty Slack integration, go to the PagerDuty Incident Dashboard and click on the New Incident button. At the minimum, select the PagerDuty service that you just configured the integration on, add a title, and click Create Incident. Now that the incident has been created, let's take a look at what you can see in Slack. Go to the Slack channel that is associated with the PagerDuty service you triggered the incident on. You can acknowledge and resolve the PagerDuty incident with these buttons. Click Acknowledge to acknowledge the incident so the team knows you're working on the incident. Click on the More Actions drop-down menu and select View Details menu to view more details about the incident. Note that images and graphs from third-party monitoring tools integrated into PagerDuty can also appear here as well. Click on the More Actions drop-down menu and select Add a Note to enter technical details about the incident that will be shared with others also looking into the incident. Enter Rollback Code Restored and Restarted the Database as an example. Click Submit. Click on the More Actions drop-down menu and select Escalate in the event you would like someone else to handle the issue. Click Cancel. Click on the More Actions drop-down menu and select Run a Play. Select a play to engage additional responders, inform stakeholders, and automatically append a status update to the incident while you focus on resolving the issue. Click Cancel. Click Resolve to resolve the incident. Click on the incident link to return to PagerDuty and view the activity that is automatically synced over. Let's test a couple PagerDuty Slack slash commands. Return to the Slack channel. Enter slash PD on call. Select a service in the drop-down menu to view who is currently on call and responsible for issues on the service. Now let's trigger an incident in Slack by entering slash PD trigger. At a minimum, select the service, enter a title, click Create, see that the incident has been created and the details are viewable here in Slack. Click on the incident link to verify that you see the incident has been created in PagerDuty. This concludes a test and showcase of some of the capabilities available in the PagerDuty Slack integration. This concludes how to install, configure, and test the PagerDuty Slack integration. For more information, please visit the integration page. You can also visit the integration guide available in our knowledge base to learn more.